I think helps me uh, in regards to death um, is there a, a human being dies twice. The first time is when they physically, their spirit leaves their body. And then the second time is when their name is spoken for the final time, because they live on in memory. Um, and that's something that allows me to sort of deal with something like that, not as a source of sadness, but as just another form of, of life. Um, I just, after hearing that, that was, <laughs> something that I, I wanted to say. Um, and now, uh, for something completely different, um, I just, I wanted to share the story of how, um, how he involved his family in every, every part of his life. Um, and in, some regard part of his death um, because I chose that casket for him. <laughs> um, at his request, um, I came to town after spending a semester at the University of Utah and he wanted to spend time with me by preparing for this day. Um, <laughs> and so we went to, and I, I had the name of it in my head. It was some, it was a, a casket maker um, and they had many options. And he um, had started to lose his eyesight and so he wanted me to serve as his eyes to make sure that I picked out something that he would find appealing. Um, and we talked with a very nice lady and he spent a lot of time just sort of sitting with me and holding my hand um, and whispered to me a few times just reminding me when I was I was there to to help him and I part of me wanted to go do something a bit more joyous um, but I by the time we, we left and we had picked up, this one is called The Vanguard. Um, <laughs> and it has a bunch of features that <laughs> made sure that we um, discussed thoroughly. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he was very um, prepared. He wanted to be very prepared for today, which is something that I really admire. It's the pragmatism death um, in his eyes um, and this so after after we left we went to um, some of the hopefully a few of us will be later uh, we went to the good and company and uh, he um, it was me my dad and, uh, my grandfather Floyd um, and we just we sat and ate a meal together, and that, it was very, I think that was, that was the last time I ate there with him, was in preparation for this day, as opposed to his birthday, which is traditionally what we would do. Um, really, it was any, any time there was a significant life event. <laughs> he, he wanted to go there, and so we, we shared a meal there, and um, we talked, and, just shared, shared presence. Um, I can't really talk about what we talked about because it was a whole bunch of nothing, um, but the actual substance of the conversation I don't think is important. I think what was important was that we spent that time together, and that was how he wanted to spend every moment of his life with family. Um, And 
who, who is still spending it with family. Is, he's made an impression on every single person here, and you will remember him for a very long time in your own ways. Um, and with all of the record keeping our family does about our family lineage, he will be remembered for hundreds of years, and so he will live on for hundreds of years. Um, so I hope that that provides some comfort for people who, admitted myself included, struggle with the fact that someone might not physically be here. Um, that they're, they're still in memory.